Hi everyone, my name is Heidi and my brand is Hand Lettered Heidi and I, this is the first time that I've ordered greeting cards from a professional printer and decided to purchase all the things that come with it like the envelopes that there will be shipping in and yeah, here to review some products so let's jump into it. So the first thing I have uh, are the greeting cards um, themselves. So I bought these from Stationery HQ. As you can see, these are the A2 size and uh, the quality of paper I got uh, is bright white. Uh, I'll have to write it down below, but I'm really pleased with the quality. They're, they're pretty thick and Let's see if you'll zoom in. And what I like about these are, I mean, it comes with a crease folded. They're pretty much good to go. You have to buy the envelope separately at Stationery HQ, but I'd like to point out specifically for this brand, I mean, the paper style, it did bump up the cost, I think, on Stationery HQ when you log in. It'll show you that it's a dollar per card, and then when you choose this um, bright white uh, Savoy Brilliant, I believe that's what it's called, it bumps the price up to about two dollars per card, um, and there sh there is shipping that you have to pay at Stationery HQ. I only purchased uh, ten of of this style, and then ten of my other style, so. Uh, prices came out to approximately um, $43, uh, and that included shipping. So I think there was a discount at the time, or maybe there's always a discount. I'm not sure. I'm very new to Stationery HQ, but that was the recommendation I got from a lot of my friends that do greeting cards also. So yeah, I really like the quality of print, the color. Make sure that when you're submitting your print that it's in uh, CMYK. Is that right? I had to learn that myself. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I definitely recommend getting the cards from Stationery HQ because you you will not be disappointed. I think after a while, after I uh, make more designs, maybe Stationery HQ will not be the most financially efficient. I know a lot of people, they end up making stationary cards on their own. They buy all the printing equipment, the creaser. Um, what else do they buy? Mm, I think that's really it. But uh, I'm not ready to make that investment yet and just sticking with stationary HQ for now. Secondly, I have, I bought some envelope sleeves. So these are just clear bags from Amazon. There are so many products like that, that I was looking for and the reviews are all over the place. You're really not sure if they're good or bad. I personally think that these were, uh, I kind of randomly selected one based on good enough reviews, but of course in any of the reviews, you're, there are gonna be bad reviews and people are saying like, oh, they don't fit or they're not good enough. So um, I, pr I specifically bought, uh, I'll link it down below, but the clear bags, they're for, and five eighths times five and three fourths. Um, it says it's food safe, but yeah. So I did, this is what it looks like. This is the A2 card in the envelope. You can see there's extra room, which is great because the envelope does take up that space. So very pleased there's a pulley tab to, you know, you stick it and then you can just and it's good to go but I will go on with this step after I show you the envelopes so I received these envelopes from Amazon also a very random choice because wow like Amazon does not make it easy for you to buy white envelopes first of all everyone is complaining about them not being thick enough or they're see-through or uh, there's gonna be a lot of sponsored posts too, and then you get kind of confused, like what should you actually be buying? 
I'd say these are okay. Um, these, these are my first round of envelopes that I've purchased or first greeting cards that I'm making. So they'll do, but I don't know if I would buy them ag again. Um, the biggest thing that I was worried about is are they quality? And I would say the quality is like seven out of 10. They're not in any way wedding envelope quality, which I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think I was expecting that. The, the, the price was still pretty um, cheap for these, but uh, they do, someone in the comments for this uh, product did say that they're not perfectly white, which I will show you the difference. And although they're not like perfectly white, I don't know how many people are actually, I don't know, needing to see that. But they do come with a sticky so that you can just peel it off, which I do like. I think I've had plenty of envelopes where, I mean, I guess it's the normal to have to like lick the envelope or, you know, like use water. But uh, yeah, it comes with a sticky and I did try it out yesterday and the sticky is pretty good. I'll be sending out my first uh, piece of mail using this envelope today. So we'll see if my friend has anything to say when he gets the letter but that is the envelope itself there are no so people did say that they're not that thick which is true like i don't know if you could tell i'd say this is similar to like printer paper it's not the thick thick it, i mean it's not the thinnest thing but on a positive end here let me just when i put it in you can still see the design, which, I mean, that's what everyone was saying. Like, they're like, oh, you could see through it. And I mean, they're right. So, but we'll see. I think uh, I'm gonna try possibly switching to craft paper for my next round of envelopes that I buy. Um, I also bought craft envelopes. So this brand, I feel like there's also a lot of comments on Amazon that said they got this in destroyed packaging, like it was like smashed or something, but I got it perfectly fine. And I'm actually very pleased with these. I would highly suggest these. They are um, A7 size. So my plan, and they actually, when I got it, it came in a plastic thing. So very well secured when I, or when it, you know, came. These envelopes also have, also have a sticky. And the plan for me is if someone orders one envelope, then I will ship it in, in the A7. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I need one, one stamp or two. I think one stamp. Actually, no, one stamp is fine. But if I put two envelopes in here, which are two cards in here, I think they'll also be fine to ship. I think I'm gonna end up putting two stamps. I'm not the stamp expert and I definitely need to do my research of like weight. Um, so I like that they're, they're not super thick, but at the same time, craft paper is just naturally thicker and you know, they just look like good quality. Um, if I got the A2 size, I think they would look great with my cards, you know, on their own. But these are the envelopes, A7. And lastly, I did get a suggestion from Easy Sunday Club. So shout out to you guys. Um, I purchased these, I haven't used them yet, but I just wanted to show everyone what they look like when they come from Amazon. They come directly like this. And I was like, what? What is this? So they are white mailers. Um, they, this is what Easy Sunday Club suggested um, for shipping just one envelope, but I don't think they are, I mean, they're really thick. Like they're, I guess this is what people are using to ship out one envelope. But I feel like if I were to ship it like this, it would still be, it'd still be very, very high quality like I don't think it would be bending you know I'm putting the envelopes um, in the, the sleeves before I put it in here 
Um, so I'm planning to put up to two in here and then if there's more then using the thick photo mailer for that. And this size is six by eight. Um, I think the price comes out to about 50 cents per mailer and the sh stamps that are needed for this, I think it's like $2 and 50 cents. It, so this uh, gets a little pricey and I'm not sure if I want to be using this option for just sending out one card. It just seems a little excessive too. Like, I don't know, maybe it's a great unboxing experience. I'm not sure, but there you have it. These are my Amazon purchases for Amazon and Stationery HQ purchases to create my own, my first round of greeting cards. In the past, I've done a lot of hand lettered cards where I hand made them, you know, using my markers and um, my gold paint, but I wanted to give this a go, see how it goes, see if, you know, everyone's talking about being able to kind of create passive income. I don't know how passive this is because I still have to do a lot of work, but this is the first round. I'm learning as I go and I'll definitely keep you guys updated in my progress. Maybe yours are interested to make greeting cards yourself. Um, step one would be start designing. And from there, I provided you some tangible uh, suggestions for what products you could buy and suggestion for where to purchase the greeting cards from. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later. <laughs>